Hello and welcome to Coffee with the Angels. I'm Katie Kiefer of AwakenTheInnerLight.com and CoffeeWithTheAngels.com. So today is April 4th, 2018. And today we're talking about prepare for transformation. So if you follow like the astrological things, the solar flares, the solar winds and things like that, I know we've had some stuff going on with that. Um, I'm not well versed in it. I'm not really well versed in astrology or just space weather, but I do know it affects us and I've seen some things popping up, though I haven't really read much about it. I just know that there is something going on out there. So the angels want to talk about preparing for transformation. So Coffee with the Angels is where I sit down and I do a writing exercise uh, pretty much every day, most days. And I've been called to share them. These always apply to me. And they are also written and shared. Um, when I receive the messages, I know what in, what's in here for me. And I also recognize that it is, what's the word? It's also, it can apply to anybody. So if you find something in here that really resonates with you, take it, run with it, do any healing work, do any building on it, do any manifesting around it, whatever needs to be done that will help you on your path. So today the angels say, prepare for your transformation. Life as you've known it will be altering permanently and soon. So far, each shift has changed you into some, to someone different, yet the same. Becoming more of your sacred self. This is no different. However, this time you may experience more dramatic environment changes in your body, your home, work, lifestyle, eating choices, etc. Allow these changes, for they support you on your path forward. Follow your heart, your intuition. Allow old patterns and ways of being to fade. Take care of yourself, then others. Many of whom you would take care of either don't want real assistance, or they are capable of their own care. Those capable need you to step back a little so they can practice. Big changes are coming. They are profound and quiet. Allow them. So that's what the angels have had to say. And I mean, this is really, um, vague is not the word, but I trust that you understand what I mean. It's very broad and <clears throat> excuse me um it's very broad and can really apply to just about anybody because we are going through a major time of change collectively and individually and so preparing what i'm seeing here for me one of the big things is to step back a little bit and let other people take care of themselves when they're capable and step away from the people who really don't want help they want enablement. They don't want help. And so for those people, you can still have compassion and still be in a space of caring. And you can still do things for them and still help them. I've had to learn to get really good discernment on when it's appropriate for them and for me, when they really want it. And when it, I can step in and you know, be of assistance and help and do so without draining myself. And so if you're watching this and you are an empath, this is something that is really important to get discernment on and learn is that stepping in and helping 
and enablement, there can be a very fine line between those two. And so it's a matter of learning that so that you are healthy and stay well for yourself. And you're effective when you do, when you do help other people. And learning to recognize when people actually want your help, that's been one of the hardest lessons for me to learn. And so I ask for confirmation now, not necessarily from the people, but I ask for confirmation from source, from the all that is. That's what I ask for. And so if you tune in to your heart space, to your divine team, your angels, your guides, the all that is, source energy, you will be guided perfectly. And you will always know what to do and when to do it. And sometimes you'll go, oh my God, am I really, really, how do I do that? Ask, and the way will be shown. So prepare for transformation, both individually and collectively. Make no assumptions. That, oh, they're, they're saying that that is really, really, really important. Make no assumptions about yourself or anyone else, because tomorrow it could be different. A week from now, it could be different. So allow yourself to kind of go with the flow and just be, and allow other people to just be. And for some, this can be a challenge because it's just a lesson that's being learned. Be gentle with yourself and be gentle with others. and Hold your boundaries firm when you need to. And your divine team is here to help you. The angels want you to know that they are here to help you. Your angels, you always have angels with you. You have at least two guardian angels, and sometimes you have many more. And so if you need extra support, connect in with the all that is and ask for more angels and more will show up. You have the spiritual support you need. They will help you. If you don't know what to do to prepare, ask. They will help you. And sometimes it is just waiting. Sometimes it is. it does feel like a holding pattern at times. And that's okay. So follow your intuition. Ask for help. Whether it's divine team, if you would like readings, or if you need help with healing sessions, clearing blocks, and or maybe learning something, a lesson is being really challenging, and so you need some help, get the help you need, whether it's from your divine team or from human beings, which can also be part of your divine team. So there's many practitioners and modalities you can check out. I personally use the Theta Healing Technique as a basis, and I do healing sessions and readings. I also do what is called feeling activations. So if you're looking at, well, what does that feel like? we can activate it and we can bring it in from the perspective of the all that is. And that will give you the groundwork to be able to go experience it and live it. And so if you're interested in checking out what I do, you can go to coffeewiththeangels.com, click on work with Katie or awaken the inner light.com. And again, work with Katie and um, you can learn more there. So, I hope you have found today's message to be helpful. And if you would like to just drop me a line, please feel free to do so. There are links um, either in the comments or in the description, depending on where you're at. Um, if, if you're on any social media other than Facebook, you'll need to be sure to go to the YouTube channel to get the links. Um, on Facebook, there's the Awaken the Inner Light page. And there is a group for Coffee with the Angels, which is facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Coffee with the Angels. And you can join us there and um, maybe we can have a conversation if you're interested. If you'd like to speak with me privately, you can also book a cuppa, which is a virtual coffee. And it's basically a free consultation. So you can ask questions and um, it's not a reading, it's not a healing session, but you can ask questions about you know, how, how um, I might be able to help you, what's going on. We can do some things that will um, just answer your questions. 
So forgive me for stuttering a little bit today. I hope you have a fantastic, lovely day, and I will see you next time. Bye.